Let's open this debate up with our guest. Joining me on the show at this point in time is Advocate Sukumara Parjoshi, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court Executive Committee of the Supreme Court Bar Association, joins us on the program. Mohammad Ali Shah, Empire Media Panelist, is also here with us. Uh, Dr. Rami Ranger, Chairman, British Sikh Association, joins us all the way from London. And last but by no means the least, Tahira Hassan, women activist, joining us on the program as well. We're not talking about uh, what uh, the court is going to decide, what they're going to remark upon, because that is obviously implying that the matter is sub judice. Mohammad Ali Shah, where do you stand on this? You know, this is a very sensitive topic. You've been with me on a multiple number of debates. We have uh, argued that, uh, you know, the essentiality clause is something which is vague to some extent, and the same essentiality is brought up every now and then. You know, the Quran is cited, the Gita is cited, uh, you know, the Holy Granth for the Sikhs is also cited whenever there is any kind of a discrepancy which is brought up legally. Uh, do you think that, uh, you know, something like this being so sensitive has to be streamlined a lot better so that future conflicts somehow can be negated? To be very, very honest with you, I think it's a, it was, I always felt it was a very, very non-issue. There was just no issue in that. And this matter was honestly, it was, uh, I don't, I still haven't been, even after the controversy, after so many debates, after watching the news, after reading about it, I still don't know where the problem is. I think it's a, it should be purely, forget about religion, right? We, I'll come to that as well. I'll cover that aspect as well later on. But I think primarily it should be a matter of comfort. I'll give you an example, Green. I'm a basketball player, I'm a sportsman, I play football as well. I, if you expect me to play football wearing a three-piece suit and a tie, I would not be able to perform on the, on the sports field. So it's, about, it's a matter of comfort. I mean, if the girls, if they want to wear a hijab and they don't want to wear a hijab, it's totally their wish, their choice, totally their freedom. But yes, I understand the fact that schools have uniform. And well, that be the case, they should, be, they should specify a color, say a blue color or a white color, or whatever color. And there's no issue or, or at all. The way it was made up and the way a uh, whole Maryam and, you know, Jai Shri Ram, Allah, Uber, I, then religion came into play. Now, when we talk about, now let me touch upon the religious matter. Well, when we talk about, say, say, Sikhism, it is an essential in Sikhism to wear turban. Essentials of Islam, let me tell you. Namaz, Kalma, Zakat, Hajj, now, these are the essentials of Islam and, and, and Rosa, of course, that's, 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 that's fasting during the month of Ramadan. So these are the five essentials of Ramadan, where, of, of Islam. Well, the hijab may not come under these five essentials, but at the end of the day, they are like the women in my family, they do not wear hijab. But if they want to wear hijab, it would be respected, appreciated, and they're more than welcome to go ahead and wear it. A woman who wear the hijab, they are modern women who wear hijab. They are their boxers, international boxers who wear hijab and box. They are modern sportswomen who wear hijab and they, they play the game. It's a matter of comfort. And I still remember, I, I was on your panel, in fact, I was on, Uday was there. And uh, we, Irshad Bhai from uh, Impar was there. And he, he, he made a statement and people, everyone got after him for that. That He said something about uh, the women would be able to concentrate better on the academic if they, they would not. It's about the men's eye. Well, about no, when we talk about men's eye, that's a different matter altogether. There is a mention about the men lowering their glares before a woman. We are talking about the religious angle to it. There is a provision of a hijab for males as well, where a man lowers his glance when he sees a woman. Now, when it comes to when we combine both the religious aspect and the practicality, the comfort, well, the matter is in court right now. And Advocate Nizam Pasha, who is uh, very, very credible, and he has uh, given out that, you know, that the High Court lawyers had probably misquoted in the uh, Supreme Court. Well, let me tell you one thing, Reed. If you want to get into a religious text, it's very, very complex. Every religious text is very, very complex to actually understand and to actually read and uh, to understand. So now when I say that the matter is sub to the in the court at the moment, I think it is best to the prudent for the court to come out with the ruling. But at the end of the day, I conclude by saying it is completely a non-issue as to from the angle that I see it from. Hmm. Right. Good points there, Ali. 
I Absolutely. We've so almost run out of time. I'm going to take concluding thoughts from Mohammed Alisha, and then we're going to wrap up. Ali? Oh, Vineet, I hope and pray and I, that for communal harmony to prevail in our country, and I hope non-issues, I consider a non-issue completely. I hope non-issues like this are actually are not fled up to the level of the Supreme Court because I think Supreme Court already already has a burden of a large amount of pending cases remaining with them. So now they should not be wasting their energy in a non-issue where a person, you firstly a person should not come and tick off a person for because they're not wearing uh, they're not wearing anything skimpy they're not wearing anything uh, showy they're not wearing anything, anything indecent. They are only giving respect. So, and I think both the communities should actually come out time, should actually come forward and give respect to each other. You give respect, you get respect. It's plain and simple. You don't give respect, you expect the same treatment in return. So now it's again the law of karma. One has to uh, to communicate. One has to have the channels of communication open. One has to coexist. We are a salad bowl nation. We are not a melting pot. We all coexist in society. And I think a religion is a very, very personal matter to all of us. And it is very, very near and dear to all our, all our hearts. So we should leave it at that. And we should not interfere with anyone's personal faith or personal beliefs and all. We should respect everyone's custom. When I was in the army, Vineet, I have uh, led the Mandir Parade. I have had, had my men who were not Muslims. To, they have given me my water and food to eat during Ramzan in the morning, early morning and late at night. In the, in the evenings. So it is uh, something which we should actually respect each other. And I hope through you and through your channel, I convey a message to the entire nation that let us all coexist together and not say me, you, it is us. Absolutely. Well said, Ali. That's the message that uh, needs to be propagated.